Hi everyone, welcome. I'm out here in my garden and what you see here in this trash pail is my compost barrel. So it's not really a barrel, it's a trash pail, but I treat it as a barrel. It's a it's a composting barrel that I haven't even emptied in a couple of years as far as I could tell. And no matter how much I try to get the thing filled up, it always seems to level off. Now that we're entering the um, cooler part of the year, you can see it's autumn. All the leaves have fallen off the tree at this point. A lot of them have fallen into here. Action in this is going to slow down a little bit, but every summer the action really picks up and this thing is just an incredible composting platform. I, um, I've um, i never put worms in here, but the thing is loaded with worms, I gotta tell you. It's always fun picking around in this container. In fact, what you see over here in this grow bag is a, a system that I consider as one of my formal worm composting systems. And every worm that occupies this bag, and there's got to be thousands of them, were pulled out of this compost barrel. So I, I was just out here to try to feed this composting bag, worm bag. I've got some frozen onions and tomatoes that I felt I was better off not adding to this. Because even though it's been two weeks since this system was fed, there were tons and tons of leftovers. So I opted to skip feeding. But it left me with this big chunk of stuff that I figured I would put into here. And I figured, you know what? My hands are still dirty. I didn't get things cleaned off yet. I didn't get things put away. I figured, why not? Let's just take a little dip into here, see how things are coming along. I guess the other reason I'm interested in checking in here is because I did something a little bit funny in here a week ago. Look at this little pill bug coming down to the pond for a beverage. I came in here a week ago with a shoe box. The shoe box had all of the old tomatoes in it that I had taken off my um, my tomato plants when the garden was um, done after we had, well actually I took all the stuff off before the, the freeze came, but on the, on the day before there was gonna be a freeze overnight, I took all the tomatoes off. A lot of the tomatoes had been eaten, but some tomatoes just never ripened. Some of them started decaying. So I figured, you know what? I was gonna put them in here, but I had them all in a shoe box and I figured why not just include the shoe box too? And then besides that, <laughs> I also had some other stuff laying around. So I gave this, um, I gave the system sort of a little different type of a application of material by including all these food items within a box. See all tomatoes, but you can also see some, also see some veggies that were used in the making of some soup. I thought that after a week it might be interesting to see what kind of progress this shoebox full of stuff might have made. <laughs> so I guess we can poke around in here a little bit. I'm curious to see if any, uh, if any creatures from within the bin have discovered it yet. Well, there's not many, but I can already see a couple worms exploring the material. Especially as we work our way down to the bottom, they've clearly made their way in here. So it should be interesting to see how this breaks down over time. I don't really normally go tilling around within my compost barrel. All I do is pile stuff on. So when I came in here a week ago to make room for this box, <laughs> I had a really good time poking around in here, checking out what's going on because there's a lot of weird stuff going on in here. It's just pepper. throw that in there too. Sweeten the deal. But you know what? The thing that we're going to add, I guess it could just get plopped right here on top of the box. Why don't we temporarily remove the box? I believe it's still strong enough to hold together. I'll just place it over here on the ground next to the covering. And we can maybe explore around here a little bit. You know, I probably should have tossed all these autumn leaves out of here before coming in. I've got to do leaf collection in my yard anyway. So yeah, when I was in here, I was excavating, moving stuff aside, picking through here, and it was just incredible because it was so chock full of worms, I was um, actually taken aback. And, you know, we're not seeing it here. There's just a few worms, but I bet you if we were to start 
you know, excavating into this material, maybe digging down, we'd probably start encountering some of what really wowed me. Like here's a pretty good example of it, right? I just pull up a handful of this material. You can see most of it is really beautiful, broken down stuff. Lots of uh, worm castings in here, lots of compost. The system probably is overdue at this point for a harvest. Get a lot of this compost out of here, make some room for more materials to be thrown in here as time goes on. Yeah. And here and there you bump into stuff that's not been um, breaking down very fast, stuff like these corn cobs. Corn cobs always seem to take a while. Oh, I almost forgot about this. I remember coming into the system to recruit worms, and then I actually found this egg. And I think there actually is still stuff inside of it, because there's no signs of any cracks or holes or anything. But it's kind of light. It's so weird. I almost forgot about this. <laughs> I always try to put it back in carefully so that I don't break it because I'm curious to see what happens with it over time. Yeah, lots and lots of nice compost in here. I don't think it would take long to sort of just maybe throw this onto my big sifter, jiggle it around a little bit, a lot of this, let a lot of this really broken down material sort of pass through the screen and get collected. And then, you know, take all the large stuff that still needs more time and throw it right back into the bucket or into the into the trash pail or barrel, whatever you want to call it. And then we'd have a lot more room in here. But, um, all right, I, th I think we've seen enough. It was just kind of a, an opportunity with that lump of frozen onion and tomato to try to find a home for it and, you know, place it into here. So I'm gonna just drop it right on top. We're gonna put this back in carefully. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to just pick this thing up like that <laughs> and move it around like that. It doesn't seem like it's quite as submerged as it had been previously. This was part of the shoe box too that I just tore off. This was its cover. Maybe we can actually use this to partially cover what's going on here. But um, yeah, why don't we start putting this thing back together. We'll grab the, the portion of food for today, drop it right in here with the rest of the stuff. A couple of these things have already started thawing off the, the chunk. But yeah, you could see that this plastic is um, pretty far gone. Might be time to replace this thing. <laughs> All right. Um, I was even thinking maybe bringing some of those leaves back that we tossed off to the side. They might make for some nice bedding here on the top surface. So, um, yeah, why don't we do that? I'll just sort of lay this as sort of a, a platform to cover the actual box with all the goodies in it. And then we'll, uh, we'll actually bring back a couple handfuls of these leaves. Give the whole thing a kind of a uh, little bit of more of a natural appearance. What do you think? Looks good to me. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, that was just our quick little check in on my outdoor compost barrel, not my outdoor worm bag, my composting barrel that I make reference to once in a while here on my channel, but I don't really do a lot of time on videos, checking in on it. But when we do, it's always fun because it's always interesting to see what's going on in here. But that's it for the video, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, if you did, please remember to leave me a thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching.